starts in about 10 minutes and I'm really really excited because we're gonna go through the vineyards and we're gonna go to the cellars and try some wine so really really excited let's go Founders house back in like 1870 and it's still here used for meetings and special events um, but Yeah, it's a historical monument now and nobody lives here. Pretty interesting Hey guys, I'm walking through my first vineyard super super cool so this particular area that I'm in right now is just like a circular round spot for tourists with all the, um, a lot of different varieties of grapes um, because really the only grape that grows in this region besides this like touristy spot is um, Cabernet Sauvignon so they made this little area here for the tourists to see the differences because there's so many different varieties so many and like the leaves are different and they change different colors in the fall so Super, super cool to be here. There also aren't any grapes on the vines because harvest isn't until February until May. So just little, little tiny baby grapes. Um, but this is a special reserve. The common Castillero del Diablo is a white label and this is red, so it's a little higher category. The vintage is 2018 and this has 13 percentage of alcohol. Tasting number one, it is a Sauvignon Blanc from 2018. Ooh. It's really, really good. It's really light. It's really nice. In this cellar, they only keep it between 8 and 14 degrees Celsius to keep it at the perfect temperature and 90% humidity to keep the barrels shaped. Now we're going to go to another cellar that offers all natural temperature. There's no like, air conditioners or anything like that. a visionary to have planted these grapevines here in our land in Pique. This wine is exceptional. I'm in the Devil's Cellar right now. This is where they originally used to store all of the wines and then just behind me here is a little lift because that used to be the only way to come in and out of the cellar back when it was first made. So, so crazy. Also, I found out that this cellar, this original cellar, hasn't had any earthquakes or like any damage because of earthquakes because of the materials that some people say. There are three materials that really works together. It's like sand, limestone, and egg whites. So, really, really interesting. Alright, I already tried the last two wine tastings. They were super, super good. I think I might pick up a bottle. But that was so fun going on a little wine tour of, I think it's the fifth biggest producer of wine in the whole entire world. So it was crazy, crazy big. So fun to see um, like the traditional old cellar. Super, super cool. And I think the wine that I'm going to pick up, I can't pronounce the name correctly, but it's like Camadero, something like that, where um, it was actually kind of like a lost grape where people thought it was from Merlot at first. But actually, it was a different one because, like I said earlier, leaves change in different colors, and Merlot has a yellow color, and then this one has a red. And it's super fruity, super delicious, so I think I might have to pick up a bottle. I got my wine, I got two little mini bottles for five 
5,000 pesos, which I think is about six, about six dollars. And now I'm just heading back to the bus so we can go back to Santiago Center. <laughs> Super, super excited about that. And then my bottles of wine. I got two of them for two little mini ones. I think there was about, about $8. So yeah, I had a super fun time at the vineyard. I had no idea they were gonna take us down into the Devil's Locker and show us a little movie, which was really interactive and really fun. Um, but yeah, I am super glad I went. It was super exciting to go to my first vineyard. I loved it. And I'm gonna say goodbye here. And if you guys want to see what I get up to next, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I will see you guys there.